In light of the school's need for the equivalent of a comprehensive high school in the county, what do you see as the county board can do to help with planning and um, creating this uh, type of school? <coughs> so the first thing I think we should understand is, that, is uh, what I would look at the relationship between the, the county board and the school board. Uh, it's not for the county boards to, uh, to tell the schools um, how they're going to program uh, their space in, in terms of for, for a high school. And schools are looking right now, we saw I think in, in uh, Barbara Cannon's report earlier, schools are looking at what are their options to, to deal, will it be a new comprehensive high school, will it be a, a uh, more decentralized approach to that, and that's a good thing. What I will say that I think that the county board's job to do is to work collaboratively with the school board to find more creative options for more space, for more seats for more students, as, as we say. And part of doing that, and part of the collaboration, means that you, you have to, in fact, actually be working together. And I think, I, I believe that the community facility study uh, that was completed last year, uh, and Mr. Milliken's in the room here, was, uh, was, uh, was a very successful, very widely well-received blueprint for how to move forward with the schools, uh, school board and the county board working together collaboratively to find creative solutions. And the fact that the community facility study was basically pushed aside uh, and that the, uh, the, this blue ribbon panel, initially anyway, did not even include the school board, to me that's sort of unconscionable in an era when, we are, when schools are clearly a very pressing issue and we've got to work together to find creative solutions. It only collaboration can't be lip service. It has to be uh, seen and borne out in the actions that we take. Thank you. So during my 15 years on the school board, we built new, renovated, or added on to just about every school facility in the county. By the way, we did it pretty much on time and on budget. I ran originally on a new school in South Arlington. It's there today, Carlin Springs. We brought on probably the equivalent of several schools with during the time I was on the school board. I am really aware of this issue. Um, and actually back in 2011, if you look at it now, there's an article where Libby Garvey says that if we look at our, our trends, it looks like in 2016, we're going to be really proud and we need to go to the county board and tell them we need to do something. And I can tell you, part of the fun of this is being on the other side now, where I can actually do something. There were years where it was hard to meet with the county board. They meet with us once, budget, and that was it. We used to ask to meet and they would not want to meet with us. Um, that was a while ago. It has really gotten much better. One of the first things I did when I knew I was going to be chair, or thought I would be, is talk to my good friend, Emma Gillen Sanchez, chair of the school board. I said, let's start meeting every month. Let's start doing this, our leadership teams. We've been doing that. Now, the community facility study made some great recommendations. I guess I'll tackle the blue ribbon issue question later. Um, that is an outgrowth of that. One of the things they recommended is we need to coordinate better. If you look at things, you will see that we, on the county side, do not have a facilities advisory committee, which the schools have. That's a group of citizens that look at what their needs are going to be. We don't actually have that. The schools also have CIP one year, like we do, and then in between, they have a document called the ASAP, which is where they're studying what their needs are going to be. So they study one year what their needs are going to be, then they get to the CIP and, and then try to meet those needs. We need to get that balance on our side and work together, and I'm very much looking forward to doing it. 